Hey everyone, Joel here with Dissecting DIY, and I just wanted to go some things that have cropped up. Uh, I'm going to go over our solar generation and, um, you know, kind of give you a, a, a five to six month uh, recap of everything that's been going on. Um, we had everything installed in mid-June, and uh, the system went active a couple weeks later. Uh, we were able to get everything up and running, and of course we enjoyed some of those, uh, you know, July, summer months, sunshine days. Um, so if there's no clouds in the sky, uh, per my last video, we're able to get about 4.7 kilowatts to 4.9 kilowatts in a day. Depends on the, the heat, uh, that's bearing down on that. And then, you know, on partly cloudy days, I've seen a jump as high as 7.5 kilowatts. Um, something about the clouds, um, and the, the sun. So if I get like direct sunlight and then all the clouds are around, it must just hit the full array. Um, that being said, in the winter months, I'm able to produce about five kilowatts. Here we are in about mid-November, it's November 10th, and I'm producing about five kilowatts a day. As you might have guessed, I'm not going to be able to, uh, I'm not gonna be able to power, recharge my power walls. I can do about 10% uh, in a day, and that's a problem. So uh, I did contact Tesla about the problem and said, look, I need an ability to power everything from my grid at times or recharge those power walls from grid if I need to. And looking at your app, I haven't found any way to do that. Um, he said, well, that's physically because it's unable to. It's um, So this is what he said on the phone. It's physically unable to. And I did ask him, I go, is it just something that's like a physical thing? And then I thought after he said, yeah. I said, well, that's strange because I'm able to power things or, or recharge about 10 kilowatts of power will come in if a storm's coming in and it'll power from the grid. So it is physically able to do it. Uh, it just looks like it's in the programming. So he's just like, yeah, you know, like uh, Stormwatch is what it is. Like, so then I just said, well, can I do a feature request? Now, whether or not this guy did the feature request for me, brought it up the chain of command is uh, here, in, uh, you know, like... I don't know if he did it, and then if he did, I don't know if the people care to make a change. And it's actually kind of this thing that I'm starting to get with, like Tesla's kind of putting out a theme here that's gotten a little frustrating. And I hate to say that, um, because I really, uh, despite my reservations in my last video, I chose to go with them. And uh, there's some days, you know, like if you watch videos of people talking about Tesla two, three years ago, I mean, there's this guy that's like, Oh my God, they were amazing. They did this, they did that. And you're like, oh my God, well, at least if I go with Tesla, they're going to take care of me, take, take care of me. And then now that they've brought everything in-house, they used to have this much larger sales force and they had people that could like pick up the phone and be like, yeah, I'll be there in five minutes. I'll check on it. <clears throat> and then they do it. Well, when you bring everything in-house, it's you're basically a big corporation trying to uh, deal with a sea of problems that, you know, on an individual level spread out, might be remote but now you have a, a specific department that is just that's all they get is people's complaints and eventually you know i mean i was a dispatcher and there's some calls that come in where you just start going to yourself like eee. <laughs> like this is this all this job is um so so that being said it's like they're, they're dealing with a sea of complaints and no one's ever happy they're just a bunch of karens they're just a bunch of you know this or that and i don't want to be that so anytime i call i'm trying to be kind courteous and just constructively put up um things that are important to me and things uh, in a constructive manner so we can solve the problem together um while tesla has been very supportive about certain things uh, i've kind of get this feeling that once they hang up the phone i'm never going to hear from them again that's been true in the sales process i had to get on them they they basically looked at the kilowatt kilowatt production and stopped calling me and i said hey what's going on and they said oh yeah did you know the kilowatt production was low i go i know uh that's why i want the, a better panel <laughs> and <clears throat> we'll get to that in a second but so anyways i talked to this person and they said that they were and they go well, what's the request and i said under Stormwatch, i need to be able to toggle when i recharge those batteries the reason being is a storm has come in, whether it be a lightning storm or a minor snowstorm. Uh, we had snow a couple weeks ago. And they'll just be, you know, trees that go down or there's idiots that don't know how to drive in the snow. They didn't get their snow tires. And, man, they have wrapped themselves around the pole at the bottom of the street more times than I can count. Sometimes when the power goes out, it's four, three or four days. So I need those topped up uh, as high as they can be all of the time. And with a 10% recharge rate, in the middle of the winter, 
I'm not gonna be able to do that if I'm using the power walls to help assist me with power at night. Now I'm using about a five kilowatt pull consistently throughout the night. Of course, when I'm down here on the computer doing any gaming or anything like that, it's up to about a kilowatt and that chips down pretty quick. It, you know, I'm using about 20, 30, maybe even 40% a day and I just can't keep up with it. Eventually the batteries will get so low that I can't do anything. And then if there's snow on the top, you don't produce anything. So we had three inches of snow no power generation with direct sunlight. And then when all the snow fell off the back, even though there was some snow on the front, it stopped generating power. So the front gets no sunshine during the winter. So there's no way for that to melt off. Big problem. So I need to be able to do that. He said that he would get the feature request in. Again, I don't know if he did it. Uh, moving along, uh, the theme that's coming up with Tesla I've noticed is get it in writing. So remember I told you about EMP shield. So I had to have a service tech come out because of the snow that fell off the roof and I stopped generating power. They wanted to come out and check the system. And I said, yeah, I got the okay from Tesla to put this in. And he said, yeah, you know, like people do this all the time. You know, they have those sense energy monitors. They'll, you know, plug into this. And, uh, you know, typically not a big deal. He goes, but you want to get it in writing. So I'm like, oh, okay. So when I said in my other video, they said it's okay, make sure you call them and get it in writing first. Okay, guys. Um, and then I found out today that they went with a 340 watt panel. Now, when I first, you saw it in my last video, you're seeing it in this video again. I did not like their panel. 350 watts was way too low. I made this point with Pedro, my sales rep, and I really like nailed it. I communicating it over the phone. So I prefer to talk over the phone. There is nothing like being able to talk one on one with a person. Um, he, sometimes people just read things angry, uh, they read things quickly, and they don't get all the information or they write things quickly. When you're able to talk, you're able to kind of get everything out. I didn't feel like beating a dead horse and I just went through my emails again. I called Tesla today about the 340 watt panel and I said, what the heck? You guys told me you weren't planning. So I asked Pedro, I go, you guys planning to upgrade these panels anytime soon? He said, no, we're not, we're not planning on upgrading them you know these are them and then he really really kind of sold them he goes you know these are really good panels there's we you know they're easily sourced they're abundant uh we're able to get them easily they work well with our mounting system they go well with our trim system yada 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 and um you know i said i know that but i really you know the the power generation that i'm getting isn't a lot i've got these trees over here you know i've got you know this porch i know i'm not going to be able to use and um you know, that's a big problem, Pedro. And I said, if you guys are planning on upgrading your solar panels, I would like to wait and install them when you've upgraded, basically gone to a better solar panel. And he assured me that there were there was nothing in the pipe work, uh, pipeline that he knew of that would lead him to believe that they were going to be upgrading the solar panels anytime soon. So, of course, I really wanted to go solar with everything going on in the world. I wanted a backup power source and I wanted a way to recharge it. And I... I took the plunge and I'm regretting it <laughs> you know like I'm I get like a pit in my stomach and it's not that he in intentionally misled me guys salespeople get updates on the daily and they might he could have got that update it's been about five six months now he could have got that update the next day after I, they installed and there would have been nothing he could have done um, other than said hey he really wanted these let's try to make it right and I'm hoping that that'll happen here so I'm talking to Tesla now and trying to see but again with their history their customer service of that endless complaints and I'll, I'll this leads into another complaint I had with them that's frustrating and they never got back to me so it's kind of it, it really makes me believe like they're not going to be there for me and remember I brought up earlier people were like they were amazing and I haven't seen that amazing I haven't seen that honor the integrity and the that we're going to make it right no matter what it takes um, at all <clears throat> in any sense of the word it's really been i'm having to nag them and and just be that other that voice that's just <clears throat> constantly what they feel is a just another complaint and a long line of complaints so <clears throat> drove that point home i want a, a more powerful panel <clears throat> i even made like dumb analogies like i went oh well you know it's like your cyber truck you know like you guys told everybody well, this has function and it doesn't have to look awesome and doesn't have to look stylish like function over look. I go, well, that's the way it is with your solar roof and your solar panels. 
The solar panels of your Cybertruck function needs to be robust, tough, and able to produce a mass amount of power, right? I said, your solar roof is for look. It's for the people that care about the look of everything. I go, I don't care about the look. I go, you could paint a picture, a mural of Homer Simpson on, on those things, eating a donut. I go, as long as I'm getting the maximum amount of power, that's all I care about. He, you know, and uh, he got it after a while. But of course, I wasn't going to put that in emails after because it's like beating a dead horse. It's like, hey, Pedro, remember that I said this is what I wanted and I already communicated it to you over the phone. Because I prefer talking on the phone. And um, <clears throat> I got to tell you, it might come to bite me in the butt if I didn't put it in any of the emails. Because now I'm stuck with these panels, despite me saying, you know, and um, this leads into the next aggravation. So when I did my video, you saw that full panel set up. And I had that porch on the lower right. Go back to the video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I lost those panels. Those panels didn't get installed because that roof was less than two inches. So it had less than a two inch pitch. <clears throat> they can't install on it. It's considered a flat roof. Okay. I knew that. I knew that going in. They took one panel, moved it up to the top. So I lost, I think, three or four panels. I can't remember. But I'm sure you'll be able to see it in the other one. Um, and despite losing three panels and saving the time of work. So you got to remember, they're not just putting panels on another roof. They don't just the wiring just doesn't magically get there. They save time and money of conduit having to cut through, and then attach to the other other panel system and and run run more wiring. And it, it might not seem like a lot, but that's a couple more hours worth of work. I mean, that's at least you know between panels and and uh, man hours. That's got to be at least another you know grand. So I should have had some money taken off. It never was. I called them out on this and, you know, they were like, Mr. Taft, we're going to look into it. We're going to get back to you. And I stayed on top of them a couple of days. I got maybe one call back from a very nice woman. She was, she was amazing. Um, I don't remember her name, but I felt like I was going to be taken care of. And then once it went above her, um, you know, where they were going to, they said they were going to look into the phone calls and look into it. Never got back to me. Never said, oh, we couldn't find anything or... Yeah, we found something. So it's like I, I kind of feel a little betrayed by that because it's like, you know, based on my conversations with my sales rep, Pedro, um, the price was going to go. He was like, oh, yeah, the price is going to go down now because you're getting less of a system, you know, lower watered system. Well, I paid full price. The price that you saw for that big system is what I paid for the smaller system that I got. So and now the the other, you know, sand in the wound is just the. <laughs> I could have got better panels and I didn't get them. So what I'm hoping I'm able to, I don't know how this is going to work. You know, I'm not, I'm not complaining to beat up on Tesla. Like I want them to succeed. I, I just, um, you know, I, I just don't agree with, um, some of these tactics. And of course the, a, a lot of the time it's not even tactics. It's like they brought everything in house. There's bound to be issues because you're just this big, big company now everything's under one roof and it's huge and there's so many people to try to please and it's tough and I get it but at the same time this is a big problem and I don't know if there's ever going to be a re resolution and I think down the road is instead of uh, brand loyalty and sticking with Tesla like I you know I, I eventually wanted a Tesla vehicle maybe two Tesla vehicles I eventually wanted um Neur not Neuralink the um Starlink you know, and it's like it was it was going to breed brand loyalty with me. And I'm thinking now that maybe that's I'm not going to get taken care of. Like there's just too much this company is trying to do too fast. And I'm just going to be another uh, another person that once they get my money, they're on to the next one. And, um, you know, it's, it's kind of unfortunate, too, because I'm trying to I'm trying to use <laughs> that referral code to get um, to get money and to help pay for this project and, you know, kind of share what I'm going through and to tell you and advise you. So if there's anything you get out of this video, get it in writing. If you're like me, where you love Tesla and, and you just want them to succeed and, and you're willing to uh, help support the company by investing in them, um, guys, anything that you're having issues with, write it down, put in a bullet point. The reason I don't like writing is because people read it and they, they read it angry sometimes. Like it's based on the kind of their day where it's like, you know, like, oh, um, I would like these things done if you could get that for me. Or it comes off like, 
if you could get these things done and get it done for me, you know, like th there's a difference in tone, like as opposed to me being on the phone and being like, hey, man, like this is what I'm looking for. You know, can you help me out? Um, you know, there's that whole tone of voice that gets lost with email and that's why I prefer phone calls. But it might have come back and bit me in the butt here because had I conveyed all this during phone calls, Tesla said today, if it's in those emails, we'll honor it. But if it isn't, you're going to have to talk to Pedro and Pedro's going to have to step up to the plate and say, yeah, he did say those things and we kind of screwed him. And good luck. Some some people just won't do that. And uh, I'm hoping he does because he was a good guy. I'm not saying he did anything to mislead me on purpose. You know, like I said, he could have got a month later, he could have found out about it. And he might even think of me and go, oh, crap. Like, I wish, I wish I knew that when Mr. Taft uh, was, you know, was looking in the solar panels because he could have waited and got what he wanted. And I want him to get what he wanted, you know, like, or he doesn't care. Like, I don't know. I don't know the guy, <laughs> but he seemed like a good guy. And uh, so anyways, those are the issues that I'm currently facing with Tesla. Some of it is hardware based. Uh, some of it is just uh, software based where I think they can make updates. And of course, I make these videos hoping that someone from Tesla sees them and goes, you know what, we can do better. We can fix this. And, um, you know, we got great feedback. It was constructive. And I always want stuff to be constructive. And I always want to work with companies like every company that you see that I reviewed, Capsule. I've talked to Capsule. Hey, this is what I'm looking for in a product. Um, you know, they disagreed with me on, on a lot of it. But they said, hey, man, you know, like we appreciate your feedback. Um, the original oil gauge, I stay in contact. I contact these companies constantly and say, you know, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I want. These, these are the problems I'm seeing with your product. Uh, you know, air things. I called them. I've been, uh, I've, I've talked to them so much about what I expect to see out of future products. Like I would like a powered radon detector where the batteries just kind of back up because if you pull the batteries, it resets the radon system. Um, you know, and I, I constantly give companies feedback because I really think a company can't do well. And when you love these companies, like it's like my smart oil gauge is amazing. I just, I would like it to be better and I'll even invest in the better if it's, you know, obviously cheap enough. Um, air things, I'll obviously invest in another air things if, you know, they make these improvements and make it better. And, you know, that goes down the line. So right now I'm looking to maybe get a cyber truck um for work i've kind of turned around on it it's i saw this thing where they up armor one and uh yeah i kind of want to see that um i uh my wife likes the model s um so we've switched all of our lawn equipment over to ego where we're all electric um that that's not really associated with tesla but um you can see that we're just kind of making all these changes to electric. And if we, we were going to do it, we'd like to go with Tesla. Um, internet. Oh, it'd be amazing to, to do Starlink. Um, I think it's Starlink. Uh, it'd just be amazing to do that and just go with this company that you really want to support and help support Elon's vision. I mean, another thing is the DIY aspect. This is the last thing I'll bring up. I cannot interface... If the internet goes down, I, I don't have the app. It's almost like I don't even. If their network goes down, I need a local way to do it. And I don't know if there is. If you could leave a comment uh, that tells me if there is ability to do this. If you're familiar with Tesla, he has Tesla. I need to just do like my modem um, for my internet service where I do like 10.1. blah, blah, blah. And then I'm able to log in directly over Wi-Fi to my... Um, my power walls and just say, yeah, um, I don't need you in backup mode right now, or I need to see how much power you have so I can tell you when, when the cutoff is. Like you constantly be able to need to adjust your power levels of what you're able to pull. Uh, and then uh, just being able to, like the guy came out to check my system after the snow fell off it and like knocked it out for a day. And he said, uh, you know, oh, I updated your firmware. And I was like, well, why didn't it do that automatically? Why didn't it? It'd just be nice to be able to interface with these things. And, uh, you know, I have the, uh, I forget, the 7600, the Solar Edge. Um, it'd just be nice to be able to log in Wi-Fi or, you know, through a, an Ethernet port. But anyways, guys, those are, that's my feedback so far. I've been five to six months into owning this system. These are some of the pros and cons, mainly cons um, today, unfortunately. Uh, 
If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Guys, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm almost to 500. I'm almost able to go back. I really appreciate the subscriptions. They've blown up over the past month. Uh, so uh, more more likes, more subscriptions, of course. That gives my um, you know critiques and criticisms and constructive trying to be constructive a, a little bit more clout the more people I can get subscribed maybe businesses will take the channel a little bit more seriously and say you know this guy is being constructive he's trying to help us out let's uh, let's try and uh, help out our customers uh, if you do uh, end up going with Tesla despite some of my reservations I do have a referral code I am trying to use it to help pay for this uh, project I was really hoping the channel would pick up a little bit more but um, you know things being what they are you know we're all doing the best we can right now so uh, I'm Joel with Dissecting DIY if you like the video please like share and subscribe if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs down tell me what you think have a good one